Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo here. So I'm just gonna give a few minutes for people to pop in. Sorry about the notifications on my phone. It kind of has to happen because I have kiddos. So hi friends, I'm just gonna do a live DIY. Hi there. So I have a rare opportunity, you guys. I actually have three children, as many of you know, and only one is here. So just popped on. Hello, hello everyone. Tampa, oh, aloha. Hi everyone. So um, rare opportunity, especially in December, to pop on and just chat with you guys and I'm gonna do a little DIY. Oh, well, thank you so much. I'm not feeling very fierce. Hi, Kim. Oh my gosh. Are you still decorating like I am? Hello, Pittsburgh. Hi, everyone. Hello, Alaska. So I'm not reinventing the wheel here, guys. I'm just going to make little ornaments, and it's something that I've been wanting to do. Hi, Candice. So you guys have probably seen these little buckets from the Dollar Tree. I'm assuming you've seen them. Hello, Texas. I got a bunch of them and they look like this in the Dollar Tree and around certain holidays like 4th of July they put out red white and blue hi Mandy and so I just spray painted them nothing fancy or amazing hello Texas and Florida and Oklahoma you all are up late tonight okay so it's almost 8 o'clock here so I guess it's not too late but I'm feeling a little better. Hi, Valerie from California. <laughs> Hello, Lala. I'm so glad you're awake. So I have an opportunity to pop on because two of the kids are not here. So I'm gonna make some little ornaments here. Hi, Linda. Hi, Crystal. So I spray painted this with that spray paint from Home Depot, and it's the same price as the one from Walmart. Hello, London. Oh, you're so sweet, Kim. Thank you. It's almost 10 o'clock in Tampa. Oh, man. So, or you said 11, sorry. Um, I just want to make those little snow buckets. You know what I mean? Like, okay, so let me show you. I got these, I spray painted them. And then I got these at Hobby Lobby. So I was in Michael's, but I wanted to use my coupon on something else. So I ended up getting them from Hobby Lobby, but you can get them anywhere. They're just the little pom-poms. So I was there with my daughter and we're such nerds. We were like studying the white pom-poms. So this, in case you're wondering, is the 0 0.25 inch. Oh, thank you, Debbie. That's so sweet. She said, I love it when you go live. I'm always sort of nervous to do it, especially because I do it from home and you guys that have kids, you know, anything could happen any moment. So um, we decided this is the very best size for those little buckets. Oh, Lala, you're sweet. Hello, New Jersey. Now the question is, do you have a Jersey accent? Because I think a Jersey accent is wonderful. So all I have is hot glue and my little cotton balls out of the bathroom. So I'm literally just going to put some hot glue in my little bucket. I love it when you guys are making connections about where you're at because I love that. I love when I find out that someone is in my area. So I found out not that long ago that Davida Lane is in my area somewhat. Not super, super close, but somewhat. And I feel like all you guys are East Coast or like, yeah, like Kansas City, like middle of the country. And I'm all the way over here on the West. So let's see, I'm just breaking up my little cotton. So yeah, we were in Hobby Lobby and what were we even there for? We were there for something for my daughter. And we ended up um, 
because I'm just crazy. I have like problems, guys. I have to like study everything. Oh, Debbie, you're so sweet. She says you rock. Oh, I love, man. My um, sister-in-law was in London two, three years ago. She had the most fabulous pictures. I would love to go. Definitely on my bucket list. So, as you can see, um, we put a little bit of the cotton down there and that's just gonna take up the space so you don't use all your little tiny balls. Um, what happened, Lala? Someone's saying how the British, oh, nothing happened. I just can't read very well. Oh, thank you so much, Lacey. She says I loves the, she loves the videos. So you guys, I'm still not decorated for Christmas. I will say I'm like 80% done, 80. But um, I have a trip coming up and I'm gonna be out of town. So I'm hoping to get it done before I leave. Otherwise, I don't, I think what I'm gonna do, you guys, is I'm just going to film the living room and the kitchen. And just do that because we're still working on out front. Ooh, the cotton is flying. And we're doing a big project that I'll share with you guys. Oh, thank you so much, eclectic collector. Um, but I also have to do the kids' rooms. My daughter's room's like 80% done. And the poor boys, we haven't even pulled out their bucket. It's just been so busy. I will be showing my house decorated for Christmas. So I was just saying I'm like 80% there and I have a trip that kind of came up that has to happen. And so I'm hoping to have it done tomorrow so I can film it and post it by the end of the week. Oh, Brazil, wow, thank you. Welcome and hello, San Antonio. Hey, Kennedy. Oh my goodness, I do not always look flawless, girl. I'm never in front of the camera when I don't have makeup on. I wouldn't do that to you guys, it'd scare you all. <laughs> I'm hitting on you, ooh baby. <laughs> So, hi, Arizona. Yes, Kennedy has seen me in person. So my daughter had um, a competition up at Magic Mountain a few weeks ago. Thank you, that's very sweet. And um, Kennedy had posted a video in the morning of her family going to the venue that we were going to for this competition. And so I was, like, I am gonna find her. We met on here, I love her. I feel like she's my sister from another mister. And so, hi Debbie. And so we just, um, we went and did our thing that we had to do. And then I was walking past one of the main entrances and I saw Kennedy's daughter and her sister. And I've recognized them from her videos. I've been watching her for like a year and a half or so. And Kennedy does 99 cent only hauls. And so um, I went up to them and I was like, are you so-and-so and so-and-so? And, -so? and they were like, like, who's this strange woman that knows my name? Like, I think I totally freaked them out. They look like I pulled a gun on them. And um, then I said, no, 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 my name is Auntie Cuckoo. I know Kennedy. And they were like, oh, okay. So then I got to meet up with her there and it was such a blessing, like, <sighs> I just wish we all live close and we could just like hang out. Although life gets in the way. Yeah, stranger danger. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I probably scared them. Although I'm not like super intimidating. I'm short. I'm only like 5'3", maybe, with big hair. But it was really fun. So, I mean, it's so hard because I know like people like in UK and stuff, I'll joke with other YouTubers about, you know, like, oh, put that out on the front lawn, I'll be by for it later. And they're like, really, are you? No, no, no. <laughs> it would take me five days to get to their house. 
intimidatingly flawless. Now that is the funniest thing I've ever read. Um, no, <laughs> not at all. As a matter of fact, so like I have this bang issue. I'm not even DIYing. Um, and I like to cut my own bangs because I know like kind of where I don't want them, but I love my, my hair girl. Yes, that's where we're at. And, um, she just cut my hair and oh my word, like I feel like I need to go in with the scissors, but if I do, they'll be too short. So get my, get my bangs tattooed. No, no. I do have tattooed eyebrows, but that's a whole other subject. Tonight I am making ornaments and I'm not getting very far because I'm just like, oh, hi everybody, hi. So these are those little buckets from the Dollar Tree. I bought two packs so I can show you guys because they look like this and they're over on the party aisle, you know, where like the birthday plates and they have like some wedding stuff there too and like baby shower, little tchotchkes and stuff just chatting and so I got them and I spray painted them black because this year let's all say it together I am doing the buffalo check <laughs> when you guys see my house you're gonna laugh because I got a lot of ribbon from the 99 cents only store and I'm trying to put it on everything that doesn't move I might even put it on a child or two so this is the little bucket. I just hot glued some cotton in there. And these are the pom-poms that my daughter and I decided were the perfect scale. So let's see if we were right, because we could be very wrong. So I'm drinking my coffee in about an hour. Seriously, buffalo check toilet paper, anything that I could get. Um, I gotta go pick up a kid. So let's see how this goes. I hope that we chose correctly. I'm also using that little mat that I hauled from the Dollar Tree. That's sweet, Lala. Um, for crafting on, it's actually a cutting board. So hopefully that works out. All right, I'm putting my fourth cotton ball in the bucket because I just glued on, you guys can't even see it with the contrast, I don't think. So this is one of the pom-poms right there. And you can't even see it because the cotton is not high enough. So I've been counting. So this will be number four and I'm just fluffing it before I put it back in. And then I'll glue it on top. I kind of want to make a mound on top of the glue. So we put up our tree Friday or Saturday, Saturday. So I have the sweetest husband in the whole wide world, Buffalo check manicure. And um, he had asked kind of like, you know, what do we need to get done? And I said, it's all about the tree. We gotta get the tree and we have X, Y, and Z to do. So I got to sleep in, it was wonderful. And I woke up and I was having my coffee and I opened the front door because I didn't see my husband or my daughter. I saw the boys and they were fluffing my, what is it called? Oh, Debbie, you're so sweet. She says she never misses the videos. Well, I enjoy your comments. I really do. Um, they were fluffing our artificial tree. So I flocked our artificial tree and you guys... It was like $5 on clearance like five years ago from Target. So it's nothing special, but the flocking stayed and I painted it. I didn't really flock it and it totally looks the same. So I'm so excited and that, okay, I love fake trees. So I don't know how many of you guys are real or artificial. I love the smell of a real tree but I like it to not dry out and the needles fall everywhere. You're just here for the tea. I'm here for the coffee. But my, my like fake tree, 
my like least favorite part is spreading those branches because it okay it's winter my hands are already dry and I've worn gloves to do it before but I mean who has time for that so they just they made my day so I walk out and they were spreading the final branches on the tree and then my husband put the lights on and that's something I normally do because he does all of those oh believe me my hands are drinking lotion like water right now. It's just so gross and dry. Um, and then we have a lot of wind right now. There was a hurricane. Yes, hor I was thinking tornado or hurricane. There was a hurricane warning in our area and I'm like, we live near the beach. <laughs> like, we're not, we're used to like earthquakes and like bad weather as far as like heat but anyways so they made my day we put up the tree and I just let the kids do it so I don't know if you guys are like this but I kind of have to go back in for one last year I started putting picks in my tree so sometimes when you put the picks in Santa Ana wins you know it you have to kind of move stuff around so I do not try to move what they put in. Oh, you're very close by. But, um, you know, I wanted them to have the experience. So I still have to like put the picks in the tree and I will put some ribbon in the tree. And then there's a little bit I have to do in the kitchen and just a couple things in the living room. And then I'll film it. But I think after my trip, I'll come back and finish up sort of the bathroom and the kids' rooms and I'll just make a second video because we also have to finish a project out front. So my husband's making me a gingerbread house, you guys, because he's great like that. And um, our neighbor put out some sheet wood, like plywood, and he was putting it out for the trash and we were like, oh, that's totally what we need. Can we have it? Yes, he is. Now it's one dimensional, so like it stands like this. It has a little stand on the back that he built, but he can unscrew that stand so that when we store it in the garage, it'll be totally flat. Well, hello there. I like your name. Um, and then he just put sandbags on the back so it won't fall over. <laughs> and um, so we did that. And then we have the two little blow up gingerbread from Walmart. So we're gonna put those on either side and then some candy canes. And then if I have more time for DIYs, we'll do some candy out there and I'll show you guys. Um, so I was gonna tell you guys, and by the way, five cotton balls. I am DIYing, I'm just talking more than I'm DIYing. And I put a little, dollop right there on the top with a little pom-pom so you guys have probably seen the rose gold tree at Walmart so they have two they have a four foot unlit tree that's rose gold and they have it in silver for $12 and then they have a bigger six foot and they're both slim and it's lit for 20. So I was going back and forth like to surprise my daughter and get her a bigger tree. Cause if you've seen our home tour from last year, we have, yes, rose gold. We just have little, you know, little trees in the kids' rooms and they're cute little ornaments. And you know, they're like, what are they guys? Like two feet or something? Standard, uh, what I would say is like a little kid room tree and I bought her the six foot one and I'm so glad I did because the lights that they lit it with are also rose gold. Now not the light bulb, the cord that is in the tree so it's really nice. You don't see, because I was wondering how they were going to light that tree. Yes, exactly. See? so. The cord is exact same color rose gold as 
the tree and the lights are white. And I would take you in her room and show you right now, but there's stuff for our trip all over because we're getting ready to pack. So yes, go tomorrow and check it out if you're interested. Now here's the thing. I like the tree, but I'm not in love with it. And this is why I surprised her with it. So I went in the garage, took it out of the box and I spread it and it's really soft. It did not scratch up my hands. It was pleasant to do the little branch separating. But let me tell you, there was at least three times when I was separating the branches that a whole sprig like this just came off and went went beyond and I was like oh my goodness this tree is falling apart in my hands so I looked and the center of the tree is white and it looks like how it's put together is there's there's holes in there somewhere but then they just put all the branches around it and it's almost like a plastic zip tie so I can fix it and I mean the price is right for twenty dollars six foot slim pre-lit rose gold tree so we put a lot of those ornaments I hauled from the 99 cent only store on them and she loves it she's thrilled she is thrilled so the boys are a lot less maintenance she's the type of kid that um, I'm sure a few of you can relate come like seriously November 1st she's in a Christmas sweater and she's got her little hot chocolate and she's playing Christmas music so it was fun we we had a good time on Saturday decorating all the trees I have something to show you guys sorry I need my coffee it's decaf but psychosomatic so I just posted my Goodwill challenge. I posted it late this evening because I needed something that I had to pick up. Hello, Canada. And um, so I finally just got it up. So you guys will probably see that at some point. But I was looking for the candles to go with my Goodwill challenge item. And I ran into a grocery store. Look what I found at my grocery store. So first of all, I saw this online on Amazon and I don't remember how much it was, but at my grocery store, it was regularly $6.99 and it was on sale for $4.99 or $4.49, so $5. And it's pretty good size. And I love the green. So I know everybody loves the red truck, but you know, with the Buffalo check and it being darker with like doing a lot of black, I thought this would go really well. And I love the Noel Farms spruce pine fir and cedar. So my grocery store is in Albertsons and I think that's related to Kroger. So just saying, if you have one in your area, um, this is how I'm doing on the actual DIY. I'm putting a few. It's making me itch, all this cotton. I love the sign. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put that yet. And Lord knows I need another sign. Like, I need a hole in the head, but, you know, I couldn't pass it up. Oh, Utah, you guys don't have a 99 cent store. I'm telling you, I grew up in California and I didn't realize, sorry about that guys, that only four states in the union have a 99. And I'm a California kid, like I had no clue. I grew up very meager means and so we just always went to the 99 growing up and when I had little kids, it was harder to get out, you know, to multiple stores. But now that they're older and I'm always waiting on them to finish something, 
I've rediscovered it in the last couple years and I love it. So I think <clears throat> California, Arizona, I want to say Colorado and Nevada, but it might be like Nevada, New Mexico. So yes, I, I know I don't look like I'm a beach girl, but I don't think I'd know what to do with any other weather because I was born and raised here. We lived in Florida for a little while and I did not enjoy the weather. I, I did not, I was not used, to, it was weird. It just like started raining every day around three o'clock. So I just lifted the cotton out. This is what it looks like inside the tub. <laughs> So I put a little more glue so that hopefully it'll stay in and not fall out. So are you guys all the way done decorating? Because I feel like now that um, I would freeze my buns, I would not know what to do, Debbie. I wouldn't know what to do in Michigan. I wouldn't have a clue. I feel like now that... I'm like following YouTube and watching a lot of YouTubers and Instagram and stuff like that. I feel like I'm so behind because so many people do it so early so that they can cover it well, you know, like on blogs and different things that they do. Not even close. Well, amen, sister. You're not alone. Although... I have to tell you guys, if it weren't for my husband and the kids, I wouldn't be 80% done. And they just felt that I was kind of stressing because I had been sick. And then we um, have this trip that we have to do. And yes, the humidity in Florida is a killer. So they just pitched in. So my oldest child's in high school and he's very, very artsy and oh fun an Arizona wedding um so I had kind of said real like jokingly to see if they would bite like during the week like hey boys you're gonna help me out and make me a gingerbread house right and then come like Friday night my husband's like so what do you need and so I literally text a picture of clip art to my son and my husband and my son drew it out oh you're so sweet um on the plywood and then my husband jigsawed it out so today i painted it beige and then i gotta sand it a little bit it's a little rough you're pretty much done Whew. i envy you my friend um, and I don't think I'll get to the details until after the trip. So, anywho, so you're so sweet, you guys, saying how much you like these live videos. I always feel bad for the people who play it back. And my husband and I have talked about this because he's very tech savvy that I want some way to be able to show what everyone's saying so that when it plays back after the live feed, everyone knows what we were saying and they don't feel totally lost. So let me see. So I have like 22 pom-poms right now. I like it, I think it's cute. So I actually am thinking about doing one of these if you guys saw my thrift haul with the freaky little girl doll and the boy. So late Sunday, Saturday night, I um, I did their hair. I washed their hair and then I put a whole bunch of conditioner in their hair and then um, combed it out. I even trimmed their little bangs and... Um, yeah, so I'm thinking I could put one of these like next to them. And then in my thrift haul, I got that little bench. 
Yes, you read my mind, Crystal. And I painted it black, so I just kind of, where it was red, it was kind of like a, like, would you say orange? It was kind of orange, it wasn't even really red, and so I just brushed it black, and then I did their little hair, and the little girl's boots were coming off, so I put a little bit of black paint where, because her boots were red, but they were all scratched up. So I basically painted her feet black because it has to go with buffalo check. <laughs> and um, I'm thinking of putting this next to them. So that's it. So I think I probably used 30. So maybe this wasn't the perfect scale like I thought. That glue gun is called Sure Bond, Sure Bonder. And so I've had this probably 10 years. It was a gift from hubby um, for Christmas. And I think I've seen this one at Michael's. Um, but knowing him, he probably bought it on Amazon or online because he's not, he's the polar opposite of me and he tries to not go into the store and every chance I get, I try to go into the store, so. It has been very, very well loved, and it has caused deep injury over many, many years. So my daughter is at a school thing, and she's just telling me how she just ate way too much. So, all right, so I'm just pulling up the handle to show you guys. You gotta kinda play with it. So the pom-poms aren't coming off like the way that I glued them. They're not really coming off, but you just gotta kind of shape them to where you want them. So I was also thinking I could put like a little twine ribbon up here, like maybe a little um, bow, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I know we had um, like 90 degree weather here, what was it, like two weeks ago in California, and it just has not felt and then I feel like then the weather shifted and we weren't hot anymore, but then I got sick and my daughter got sick. So we've just been chasing, chasing the back of a train, it feels like, to catch up. I don't know what it is about this year, but I just do not feel caught up. So there we go. There's our finished little one. So I'm thinking I might even use some of these as ornaments on the tree. Like... That would be really cute on my faux flocked tree. So this is why I was like, oh, this is an easy enough thing. I can pop on live and say hey to everybody and see how you guys are doing. Oh, how fun. Okay. So um, is it Christina? She said she's been watching for a while, but she just figured out how to comment so hello and welcome, that is really fun. I have to tell you guys, my first live video, I pulled it down because I got a stupid copyright from um, the background music, music in Michael's. <clears throat> I was like trying to figure out how to make it a full screen and not just that little vertical with the black on the sides. And so I was totally focused on trying to show you guys all of the, like, was it? It was um, fall, autumn, so it was probably August, September, that I didn't realize I could speak <laughs> and you guys would hear me. So I would kept looking like on my phone for how to type a message to you guys. Oh my goodness. Now I realize I can just say it. Yes, I love crafting. Did you see what I made? My little Dollar Tree buckets. So. I think, let's see how many pom-poms it says. So I used my coupon on this one at Hobby Lobby, so it was only like $1.19. And this says it has 150 pieces. So if that one took me about 30, then I can almost get all, because I got six, two packs of three like this from the Dollar Tree, so I can get almost all of them done. And I used, I think, five cotton balls like this. I spread them out and put them in the base. So, 
That's what I did. So I just posted my Goodwill challenge. And then this week I'm gonna post a shop with me or two, depending on my time. I went into um, um, I went into Five Below and filmed the Christmas stuff a day or two ago, and I have another Hobby Lobby video, so I want to get those up for you guys, and then the home tour, but it'll be home tour part one so that I can come back and do all the kids decor and finish it up and so tell me this since I have a few of you guys here and I'm curious so you guys know when I go into stores and they play music I have to mute the video so that I don't get in trouble with YouTube for the background music in the store so I never thought of background music before I started filming. So now I'm very conscious of it because I don't want to get in trouble. But do you guys prefer the Shop With Me videos to music? Or do you prefer them if I do a voiceover? Lala's already there. She says voiceover. <clears throat> okay. Because I, I kind of get like, not nervous, but I'm not sure I want to just put my voice out there for you guys and just be like, listen to me. <laughs> so. Okay. You guys are awesome. Oh, look at you guys. Voiceovers. Okay. So I didn't know if that was lame. If, you know, it was, you know, you hear your own voice and you just think it sounds like nails on a chalkboard. And then sometimes I don't want you guys to be confused that I'm doing the voiceover. I usually do it within a day or two, depending on the kid's schedule. Okay, I get the message. Um, so I don't want you guys to think like, if I say something in past tense, like, oh, these were really cute. So it's kind of, it's kind of weird for me to think you guys would even want to hear my voice and to be doing it in a past tense. So that that gives me a lot of insight. Thank you guys for that because um, it's really easy for me to sit there and look at decor and talk because you do you. <laughs> That's what I always tell the kids. You do you, boo. Yeah, seriously, they do have... Um, a couple of songs, you know, is approved for their list and they are getting played out all of their Christmas music for YouTube. Thank you so much for that, Robin. I don't, I don't feel like I've been able to do as much for Christmas as I did for Halloween and fall just because the kids schedule has picked up so much because I did the one and that's why I did the collaboration and I have to tell you guys this is like a public apology slash announcement real quick the Merry Craftmas DIY I filmed on a Friday by that Sunday I had bronchitis and my daughter had walking pneumonia and then my bronchitis turned into walking pneumonia I'm almost finished with my second round of antibiotics. And so um, I was so glad I had filmed that. And we went to church that Sunday and my husband knew like, it's Merry Craftmas. I have to be on my phone adding videos as they post. So I gave it all I had and then we came home and just crashed and I was in such a fog that like Monday, Tuesday from walking pneumonia that I didn't even go back and check for any videos that had posted after that point. So I am so sorry. There was a few of you that were wonderful and emailed me and I don't even check my messages very often unless it's a comment on a video. 
So I added, I think it was last night or the night before, I added like six new videos to the playlist. So I just want to thank everyone who took part and you know, I just want to say I'm sorry that it took me a while to add those few videos that posted a little later in the day because I just came home and crashed. I know, but it was my first time hosting a collab and, um, you know, I just, I wanted to do my best, especially since you guys put the effort and time to make a video. There were so many people that had said, you know, I've never made a video before. And I just, I appreciated that so much. You didn't miss it. I just posted it. And it just happened today. So I'm sure that, um, go to my so-called home is the channel and her name is Hillary. And look it up and she'll be, um, she'll be there. You can just ask her. I'm still getting over it. This is round two antibiotic, but I'm almost done. You like my eyebrows? Thank you. They're Maybelline. <laughs> so I did have my eyebrows microbladed two years ago, and they're fading. So I need to do um, a touch up. Tell the truth. Oh, I just did. I told the truth. They're microbladed. But if I put on um, foundation, which I don't use anything fancy. It's all like Maybelline, CoverGirl, L'Oreal. Um, I have to darken them just because the foundation will lighten them. But thank you. My son has my eyebrows and I do love, I love his eyebrows. He has like two on each side right here that I just want to pluck and he's like, mom, no, leave me alone. <laughs> so, all right, well, we've been on almost 45 minutes. Yes, so when they redo my eyebrows, they'll just, they darken up a bit. So the process is twice. So you go in and they kind of. If you're squeamish, don't listen. They kind of make grooves in your skin. I mean, it's a tattoo. And then they, the second time in, they go back in and they fill in with some color. So you didn't miss anything. We just made this little simple DIY with the buckets from the Dollar Tree. I spray painted it this weekend black. So they're white like this. And then I just spray painted it and then I did cotton and then I did these little puff balls on top. So my eyebrows, I have MS and one of the things is your hair can fall out. I mean, just for me, autoimmune wise. And um, like currently I have two bald spots now thank the Lord I have so much hair that you can't even tell but I lose hair and so before I did the microblading I always laughed because my eyebrows would end like right here so I'll have to look up the picture and maybe share that with you guys sometime it's pretty funny to see the before where my eyebrows just kind of stop and then after microblading it just it finished off the tails kind of thing. So it was really good. So I think I'm gonna leave you guys here. Um, thank you, Lala. I feel like I need to hand you a wrench, but I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> I don't even see the wrenches when people talk about the wrenches for live feeds. Um, so I just wanna say thanks to everyone for coming on and joining me. <laughs> I called you a wretch, not a wrench. No, just kidding. You know I'm kidding. Um, I've got a kiddo to get into bed, so I've got to get him in the shower. And I just want to say thank you guys for popping on and chatting and joining me. If you enjoy lives, then I'll try and do them more often. Not till after my trip. 
but I did have an opportunity that I just wanted to come on and say hi to everybody. I hope you guys are all staying well out there. I know that colds are going around and um, yeah, Merry Christmas, happy decorating and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye friends.